without further ado, let's get back to some more interviews. This man, prolific songwriter, prolific producer, and one of the wickedest young artists to touch out of Trinidad as of late, doing big things both locally and internationally. We introduce to you, you know, I don't call your name, man. You want to call your name, right? Introducing to you none other than living central, no? Living, living foreign, too. <laughs> the one and only who? Well, bye! Ricochet, the party guy. Yo, Ricochet is definitely in the oh building. God, oh God, oh God, oh big, God, my big, brother. Big up the Code family as well, man. Big up to Code 2 to production and the whole of the Code 2 to family. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm. What we've done is that I realized that a lot of them do like to come out. <laughs> um, last them here this morning. Well, it's because, afternoon. We got, we, well, this, you well, like I, me? I know wake up. We just wake up. We just wake up. It's morning for me. You know? Yeah, it's morning. <laughs> it's morning for me. I know we wake up. We knocked it out. <laughs> yeah. We just know when it's what day, time it is. Uh? The day is the well, night and the night is yeah, the day. Yeah, I'll blast them. I'll blast them Call because him. watch me. Mr. Dean Williams. <laughs> Sean O'Connor. Yes. Uh, yes, Mr. A Class. Yes. They only like to sleep. All right. <laughs> right? Look at Sheldon taking out pictures at video in many here. What kind of vibes is this? So, yeah. Rico, <laughs> Carnival 2020 is definitely here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yeah, going yeah. on with Rico for 2020? Well, Rico Shea. Let me, let, 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 let's start <laughs> with the songs that you probably produced and write, and then we're going to get into the one that you sing. All right, well, we could, we could um, from some of the artists that I work with, or we could go from 2019 and... Yeah, we could and, go from 2019, come on. Because it's too much, right? Mm -hmm. um, 2019, I've worked on, uh, uh, I did the um, Patrice and Lyrical, yeah, yeah Criminal Wine. Mm -hmm. I've worked on um, Emotion with um, Mel Beats and them, that's, that's with Kevin Little. Right. Um, Wayne Wonder. You know, I just always try to touch some of the international stuff. I, I like to interfere with international music. It's put, it's put a challenge to the whole thing. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, um, I, I did some work with blacks. Well, it's you know how the lists go, and that's and the same thing this year. Um, well, this year I decided to 2020. I decided it was more about ricochet. Right. The artist ricochet party god. Now people, let's get tired with the party god. Mm -hmm. Party god is not my name. Party god is just a hype, right. a hype name. The god is a lazy term for good. Mm -hmm. So the G U D means good. A lot mm -hmm. of people don't understand that part of it. Yeah, right. So I just explain it. Um, this year, and I will apologize again, I did that in, in some of my interviews before, I'm apologizing to a lot of the artists that had reached out to me, you know, a lot of the, the young artists also, because I, I love to build artists, I, I'm responsible for a lot of upcoming artists, so it's not that I, I wasn't taking you on and I feel you're too small or I didn't have time, it's just I, I realized that I need to you, spend a little more time behind myself. You, 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 you actually put time into the brand that is Ricochet. Yes. Yes. Which is which is a good thing because sometimes yeah. sometimes as as an artist or an entity in entertainment, yes, yes. you always need to reform and reflect to yes. transcend because you have to also watch when the landscape is changing. Yes. And right. as as an artist, as a DJ, and, and any part of and any part of the entertainment realm that you may be, even as little as a producer or probably a graphic artist, because it have things which bad you might have seen a flyer 20 years ago and it's woman 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 and you realize now a lot of a lot of graphic artists try and stay away from yes, that yes, yes. so as an artist you'll be like okay jump and wave was 20 20 was 20 right. 27 to 20 20 or 7 and, yes. and so forth and here it is here what going on people want to feel good music people mm -hmm. want this kind of music and you have to know when it's time for you to evolve and take yourself from what is the norm for you yes. and probably Dip, dip, dip your feet in on 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 charted waters for you as as a, as a brand. But you see, sometimes when also too, when you're trying to make a difference, um, sometimes um, especially with soca, you is is a is a real sensitive thing to interfere with, and you must include the soca no matter what you do. Mm -hmm. So as much as I understand music internationally, I understand international crossovers and different things. When I do it and present it, sometimes it will sound like it's not really soca. And, but, so, but, 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 you, but you always try and keep the fusion yeah, and the element there. My music does have it. A lot of people don't understand that. So that's why people just be like, yo, yo, this production, uh, where is this inside sometimes? I, I literally put in this international flavor inside my yeah. music and sing in soca yeah. on it. You yeah, tweak with it. Yeah, I just play with it. I'm, I mean, every time I go to my lab, no, I just call my studio my lab. Right. Every time I go to my lab, I just be like, what I could do 
to create a different style and vibe and still maintain soca. Hmm. How do we do this? Because you could you could put dance all into it, you could put reggae, you could put anything that you Dubstep feel to put. You could sing a whole reggae Afro. on a soca rhythm and swing yeah. the vibes differently. Mm -hmm. But yet still, some one of some one of the genres always cross and 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 you, you just feel that one more than the other. The fusion. So, yeah. So you now we have to know what you're doing when that is concerned. To keep the balance. Yeah. And before. Last year, I realized that I released, I, I did songs f um, with my, for myself, but for other artists. And I released the other artists first, and then I was forced now to hurry down my songs. And I didn't have time to really mastermind the whole project. And I, I, that's, that is what made me decide this year, 2020, I can't afford to really spend time behind the artists. Let me, let, me, let me shape out myself, because I mean, I love music. That is why I'm producing, that is why I'm writing, that is why I do all this. I love music, and I realized that I'm not really giving it the hundred. Mm. I just just ninety eight right you seventy something right you right you never the hundred and this year I actually give it the hundred look Sheldon met me for the first um years I haven't seen Sheldon and Sheldon <laughs> was like you know, bro look how much years we know each other we never <laughs> went to go to pit yeah because you know why I have a mentality where I will just show my face and bust out well that is that that is that yeah. if anybody knows me as well I have been doing that for the last five years mm -hmm. and lately people they see me all over the place yeah. and Maggie same thing with me they here. say Maggie where you was boy and mm -hmm. I just used to show my face just to show, all right, yeah. I acknowledge you because yes, yes, yes. I, I respect I you. Respect, yeah. But I can't stay because can't stay. The, 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 the thing has changed, mm -hmm. which part the enjoyment for mm -hmm. for being there has, has not been there. Mm -hmm. And 2020, I am actually feeling the enjoyment again. Yes, of course. And of course. I actually feel carnival this year. And, and you know what I, what I admire about the artists and them this year? You can clearly see that a lot of artists, they actually went into their homework a little deeper. <laughs> You know, and they, they, they worked a little harder and you could see that, you could sense it, you could feel it just by the production, just by the way they, they approach things, just by it. sometimes they interview alone and then everybody have an approach, you know, um, they want to take music to a different level, everybody have a, a different way of explaining how they want the music to go, where direction they want the music to go. Yeah, because an um, artist, when an artist come to you as a producer, they will always turn around and say, all right, I know you may have your vision of what it is I'm going to yeah, do, but yeah. here what's going on, I want, I want this element in yes. it and I want that element yes. in it. And sometimes as a producer, you you have to literally mm -hmm. paint, paint the picture mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you're like, mm -hmm. this, I could put this in. You may put it in and you as a producer may say, here, what's going on? It all right, but it's not hit. <laughs> and sometimes, Maggie. sometimes for an artist, it's the hardest thing to hit. Maggie, music that I've been doing 10 years ago, 15 years ago, how I'm, long, I'm how, actually hearing how, it now. How, how long how, how long you've been I'm in this I'm game? into music like over 20 years now. Mm -hmm. um, my father was the owner and lead singer and musician for JMC Tripany. I don't even talk about stuff like this. Mm -hmm. My brother is Jason Lee. He was... Uh, he, he Here did comes the band, yeah. lollipop man. Yeah, the lollipop man. And, 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 he was and, a musical, and, and he was a musical coordinator for Atlantic yeah, for back Atlantic then. At the point in time, and he was working at six point one. Well, He lived um, in the States now, Long Island. Um, he actually works with, believe it or not, Trinidad, I, 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 I am just going to, plenty of people yeah, don't yeah, know yeah. this, eh? Yeah, yeah. Jason is actually one of my very good friends from a long time ago. Yeah. And Jason did Trinidad Pro because he actually works with an international act outside. He actually do a lot of references for, mm -hmm. for, for, for that particular, he yes. may not actually work on certain mm -hmm. certain ones of the track, but he will do engineering on, on, on her tracks. Mm -hmm. I could bossy bubble and tell, yeah, 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 tell yeah, yeah. them Nikki who we're talking Nikki about. Nikki yeah. All right, he actually works with Nicki, Nicki Minaj. Yeah, and this is my personal Aaron friend, Aaron right? Aaron Aaron, yeah. So I remember two years ago, I jumped in, I reached in New York, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I said, Jay, I reach, yeah. Mm -hmm. Where is I coming and pick you up? Boom, he come and pick me up. And when we do so, we we, we, we driving. I feel like I'm driving out yeah, of yeah, the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know which part we went? We went, Island, yeah. we, went we went Long Island. Yeah, yeah. We pull up in our house. And I do so. It's Nikki, he and me, like, yeah, drinking, yeah, yeah. It's drinking our rum, you know. <laughs> I, know. I was now explaining to, I was now talking about this. I was just telling Sheldon outside. I say the kind of people that is be around sometimes. It will be so weird to just pick out your phone and ball, yo. Nah, you didn't. I hear it's, 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 an, it's a no phone kind uh, of rule uh, yeah, unspoken. Yeah, and it's like, it's only people that, 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 that was there, have been there, would understand, you know, and, and I mean, Back to, back to the times when we was doing music, mm -hmm. this is something that we've we been doing years now. We always knew that the music need a certain type of tone and quality in it. Before, you know, we could not put certain tones that we have in music now, before we could not do before. Yeah, especially in the soca, because they, they will tell you, that is they not soca. That is not soca, and they will blast it. And now it's, the, the work is becoming easier. 
where if I do a rhythm now, by any morning I have about 10 people want to jump on the rhythm before nobody in jumping because they don't understand, they didn't understand. Well, it was hard. Round of applause goes off to the arm. Um, the older heads in the soca because they actually seeing the evolution. You remember those are the people that at that at that point in time yes. that go to fight and say, that you nice enough, but it's not soca. Yeah, it's not soca. And now you're actually seeing that the that the mature artist willing to work with the newer style of producing. Uh -huh. This was also and now ask me what is soca. <laughs> that was so funny. I hear this too. This song, uh, Patrice Robert, that was Patrice Robert's first hit song. This was her first hit song. Would you you are like? the love of my life. <laughs> right? I, I also had a track with Tracy Donald and Sugar Daddy. That's mm. the guys who did that. I'm a song with um, the um, Soka will be lover. Sweet, sweet Soka. All the times we've been groovy Soka. Soka will be lover. It was already ahead of this game. Yeah? yeah. That, uh, sorry, that one of my favorite of, course, of all but, time. But here, understand what I'm saying? And it was we was England. doing soca and groovy around that time, and we was not getting that respect at that moment. Alan Brazan, yeah, we was not getting that respect, and we was literally writing groovy because mm. I grew up under R and B and stuff like that. So R and B into soca and a soca rhythm, you know what I mean? Well, groove. I I just always say mm -hmm. the groove element of the soca was spawned from R and B music. Of course, of course. But now, now I'm I'm I I I and I have to see that the youths now mm -hmm. kind of understand what, what, what should be done to cross the thing. And I realize that everybody's trying, even if, even if you're a non-singer, you're mm -hmm. still meeting a non-singer, singing a goofy and going yeah. on a goofy rhythm and doing nothing. And practices make perfect. So yeah. I can't even tell you, yo, don't go out there, can't sing. Hey, and, and, and wait, wait, wait. Let me put the producers out here. Yeah, yeah. We have what to choose. Of course, <laughs> I'm melodying. And I know where it's key. I know how to put it in key too. Yeah, you, know to, you, you, you know how to write the music. Yeah. I know how to put it in key, so you have a nice voice, brother. Mm. And you have a nice little vibes in you. Yeah, yeah. You, can, you can do your thing. You're going to reach. Mm -hmm. So, 2020. 2020, you now I have, I have two songs. Mm -hmm. One called Take Soka. Mm -hmm. And the next one is Feeling. I feel it, I feel it today. Right. Because I realized that I was real and just and I was shooting feeling that feeling with a bad feeling. It's kind good to see. Yeah, it's like, it's like I find like I was only performing one song all over the place. I was doing interviews, I only doing this one song. I wasn't paying attention to feeling that feeling. And it, I, I mean, it's like three people came to my life, yo, what happened to the song? Even Kerry John yesterday literally with me, I was, yo. Oh, you're feeling the square, that feeling. You're the square, 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 you're the and it's like the other song is like I do the next song and it's a level forward. I was in hot shots and didn't get a chance to finish my song. I actually saw the performance with people, the performance with you in hot shots yeah. on Tuesday was actually yeah. good. And I saw the one the the the, the Wednesday before in um South and the Red. Yes. Yeah man. Level forward. Yeah. And then feeling that feeling is you the song. Making the girl and then whining in front though, but never but mind. On the <laughs> scene, feeling that feeling is the song that, that I'm getting book bookings mm -hmm. for. Right. It's so weird that the song that they're getting the forward with it's not the song that you get in the bookings with. Yeah. Stranger. Believe it or not. So now I'm, I, I, I now know this yo, you see me, the song that I get in booking with is the song I need to spend some time behind. Also, I'll do the two songs, eh? Yeah. Because I want more mashup songs, they'll jump, jump, I jump, I want more mashup songs. <laughs> anyway, oh, when I reach in the party, I'm mashing up. Yeah. But at the same time, I still gonna hit them the groovy because I realize people accept it and they want it. And that's, we, we, we love me groovy, we love the vibes, we love the energy, we love the thing. So yeah. let me do the thing. This song, you're about to bust the tune the one time. This song is called Feeling a Feeling by Ricochet. The party girl will take it in. Tell me what they say. Like the guys. Let me give them, let me plug them one time before you play this song so they can go on Instagram. Ricochet, R I C O C H A E slash party god. You go right in and, 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 and send a little love. Send a little love. Check me out on YouTube. It's the same thing, Ricochet. Party god, feeling a feeling. Leave a little comment. Tell me what you think about this song. So, why are you hiding your face from the ladies now? Tired boy, it's not a face really, the eyes. Hell vibes. Let's see. When I come inside the party, them just taking over me. When I come inside the party, them just taking over me. When I come inside the party, them just taking over me. When I come inside the party, them just taking over me. When I come inside the party, them just taking over me. I'm feeling, I'm feeling. Party, yeah, come yeah, yeah, yeah. Party. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So when I come inside that party, we didn't just take 
get over me. So I come inside of the party. We them just they get over me. When I come inside of the party. We them just they get over me. When I come inside of the party. You want to just tell me? I feel it, I feel it. This is what we're playing out there. Good God, and I like it. I feel it, I feel it. strong calypso so inside it. And a little piece of zest, I hear a little piece of zest in, in the hook. Of course. <laughs> you know, so the song have all those kind of elements inside of it to create our vibes to make and actually do this. Yeah. You, you can do like this song, you know, yeah. but you're going to do this. And you must bump. You yeah. must bump. Of course. So, yeah. Rico, definitely keep the great music alive. Of course, of course, keep of course. producing, keep writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I know you probably have some rhythms to let go after Carnival. Yeah. Maggie, you always the scene, right? Mm. I have a song here. If I give that song to your brother, it's after the carnival. <laughs> it's after the carnival. And most of the time, you, you normally take the hiatus from Trinidad. And yes. Believe it or not, this man is yes. going to the studio in Manhattan mm -hmm. and start working. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, as soon mm -hmm. as carnival done. Yeah, yeah, of course, studios. <laughs> and I was telling them that, I mean, we are, we are professional, work, but I have to show you some stuff for the going. I have to set up your studio. Yeah. Because I do all, all this time. Uh. Don't set worry. up your studio, man. I can Don't send worry, and say, go again. At least take the voice and set it for me. Not a problem. Yeah. <laughs> At least take the voice and man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Worry. Big things 2020. 2020. As I say, perfect right. vision. Yeah. <laughs> but we can't do it all, eh? Yeah, man. Can't do it all. Definitely. Yeah, so. So, Rico, yeah. give them the handles again that they can go find you. My handles are very, very simple. It's Ricochet, R I C O C H A E. 202, 202 is my angel numbers. Yeah. I always attach things to my name, you know. Yeah. So you cover yourself. Yeah, you know, no, 202s are really angel numbers, though. Right? So it's R I C O C H A E 202. And, and, and at, my, at my Gmail, just add Gmail to add to, to, to. R I C O C H A E 202. Mm -hmm. Instagram, Facebook. Party God. Party God. <laughs> attach to that. Wow. Yeah. So I go. <laughs> so Once I go. again, Ricochet, thanks for passing through. We're going to take a short break and we'll be back. I told you a whole day. I'm making sure all you hear everybody music. Yeah, 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 that's good. Yo, because nobody does 
a lot of people ask me the after the Maggie when all your fighting all your does real fights. I realize you guys do a lot of interviews. It's because I love giving youth and experienced people a platform that they can do what they have to do because a lot of the times in carnival season the big stations and the small stations are booked out with this this promoter and that yes we do advertise but at the end of the day we also have to create a platform which part at least I go hear my tune once on the radio yeah. for a lot of because it have a lot a lot of artists that save whole year. Save whole the year to actually produce yeah. one song. But besides that too is a life changing opportunity also because not every artist have the opportunity and the, the, the avenues and the and the and the mm -hmm. and somebody like you that will literally put love into the thing and share it the right way and, and do it the proper way. Yeah. And I just always tell my wife, my, my number is a public number. Mm -hmm. If you go on any of my socials, whether you go Martin, which is my brand, you could go DJ Maggie 868, mm -hmm. you could go on Magnificent Song yeah, page, yeah, yeah. and my number is yeah. never hidden. I answer my phone every single day. Maggie, I came by you last time to do some graphics with your son. Yeah. And you was literally late. Mm -hmm. Run out to your bag, and I was like, Maggie, interview, here. yeah, check for Saturday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, that's that's me. That is yeah, me. Yeah. I try my best <laughs> to put everything on the floor for artists, promoters, and probably somebody who just want to do something mm -hmm. good in Trinidad and Tobago. It's a smart move, and I, I think that it would make um, a lot of artists respect. The fact that you, you respect them mm -hmm. and sometimes it's, it's, it's a matter of giving respect they get yeah and we as, as i say you're from we from the, the old school yeah. brother we understand we, we are respecting when adam was a boy and rock yeah. jason was a pebble <laughs> and i was telling i was telling him i was telling shannon again people djs and promoters no well dj just to say and announcers no they don't take the chance no more yeah they don't, they're not taking the chance you a, a lot of people are not going to take the chance that you're taking right now to air because they want the vibes they want the thing but they're not taking time look we, i know listen to fireball track too yeah Track nicer. A bad tune. I know, listen, I've been in so much a place that I haven't heard this song yet. Well, I, I believe the track is a week old now. But by, by now, it's by supposed, now to be, supposed to be, it's it. a, especially a person yeah. of fireball yeah, stature yeah, and, and that, about, took, yeah. that took soca music to the world on yeah. the platform that he did. Oh we gosh. we supposed to respect him and regardless, if, 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 if the track probably now come out, mm -hmm. We supposed to jump on yeah, it jump because on it, yeah. this is fireball. You have to pay attention. You have to pay. Well, it, we it, it, go back on Europe again. It it, 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 it comes like, all mm -hmm. I tell all I want to talk this after Carnival. Mm -hmm. No talk it now. No talk it now. Right. All we go and take a break. Ricochet. Yeah. Thank you, my brother. <laughs> <Just> nice. <laughs> <laughs>